Hello guys, this video to show you how you can make a link between information on the sale order and to make them available on the on the invoice. <coughs> uh, this will allow you to do that without having to go through development and uh, it will be kept in the studio module so that when you will have an upgrade, you don't need to wait for development to upgrade or you don't need to call a partners uh, to, 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 to have that upgraded. This can be done and will be kept in the module studio and will be used for every upgrade. So basically, we need to go in the debug mode. I'm going to use a simple case. I'm going to go on a sale order to make a link with the, and having something that is here uh, appear on the invoice. So for example, here we are going to take the quotation template. Um, then from there, we are going to open studio. Then just move this uh, here. Whatever text, I just click on it so that I have here the uh, more uh, button. By opening it here, I'm actually opening uh, the information about the field and I can click on create. Here, normally, uh, if you create from outside of studio, it's going to not be set up in any uh, module. So you will need to in input it in a module. But here, because we do that from studio and this way, then the uh the module the, the module the field will still remain in the module of studio so for example here i'm just going to call it dead field level dead and then we see here where do i want to put that on the invoice so i can that move so journal entry then here don't put anything here this will going to be this is going to be a tool in order to help you to see if what you did is correct because automatically, when you are going to select the correct flow for the related, then automatically uh, it's going to recognize what type of field you, you you are linking it to. And so obviously, if you know you are linking it to a minute one, and then you see here text field, you know you you have done something wrong uh, in the in the process. <coughs> so basically, what you want to do is come here in related fields. What you want to do is to define uh, the 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 journey that needs to uh, to, to do the, the, the information to get the correct field onto the, uh, the, the sales. So in order to do that, we are going to check uh, on the model of the uh, journal entry, what kind of link can we have with the, uh, with the, with the sale order. And basically the link is not, is not through the journal entry itself, but it's through the, uh, the journal entry lines. So basically the invoice lines, so the journal items. So what we are going to do is open a new window just so that we can see all fields that exist for that. So here I'm closing studio in here. Then going in the back end, <coughs> then check for models. Then here I can check, uh, I'm going to check uh, journal entry. Up, and I keep this one, and then I'm going to check for the journal item, which are the lines. Okay, so from here, if we go there and we see all fields, we have something that is linking us to the sale order. We have here sale underscore lines underscore IDs. So this is linking us through the uh, through this is making the link through the invoice lines to the sale order lines. And then obviously here on the journal entry, what do I have? I have uh, I have journal item which is line underscore ID. <coughs> So basically, what do I want to do is I want to say, okay, I'm here at the moment on the journal entry. Where do I need to get the information? Obviously, we want to target the journal items because that's where we have the link to the, to the sale order. So we go here. Okay, journal items, the link is a one to many, so it's line underscore IDs. So that's what we are going to write. Line underscore IDs. Okay, now I put a dot just to say, okay, I reached that field. Now, where do I want to go when I'm within that field? So now I see here journal item, the journal item, what do I want to target? I want to target the field, sale underscore line underscore IDs. Okay, 
sale underscore line underscore IDs. Okay. And now what do I want? Once once I'm on the sale order lines, I want to reach actually the sale order because the condition template is, is specified on the sale order. So we're going to do the same thing as before. And we are going to come back here to check the sale order. Up. Uh, okay, this one. And so from here, we can check. Uh, actually, it's the other way around. It's on the sale order line. Up. On the sales order line, actually, because we are on the sale order line right now. Here, we reach the sale order lines. So when we are on the sale order line, we want to check the information for the sale order. So up there, I think it's order reference or something like that. Okay, order reference is the link to the uh, sale order. So we have order underscore ID, okay, dot order underscore ID. Okay, and now obviously the last piece, okay, Okay, sales order. And then here we want to use the quotation template. And so we are going to use this. So I'm just going to open it to copy paste it. Up. And you see the small space at the end, so we move it so just so that it's perfect. Okay. And now I can get back and okay, it's a minute one. Indeed, on my sale order, my quotation template, it's a minute one. So now this I can save. Obviously now I created the field, but it's not, it's still not uh, put in the view. So now I'm just closing in order to have Odoo uh, Studio and Odoo uh, globally to refresh and to record that actually the field is now available also with Studio. So now I'm here on the quotation, so I'm going to for example, confirm this one. Okay. And now I create an invoice, whatever the invoice. We see quotation template, it's default template. Up. Now I can open Studio. Here, search for my field dead, which is there. Add it wherever I want with Studio. And then we see default template. And so like this, you can have your uh, related field, even though basically normally it's not available with Studio, you can still go uh, through this workaround to have it. And now those two, the, that field is actually available on your invoice. So you can use it on your uh, front end, uh, I, mean, I mean PDF or here on your back end. And you can do reportings, you can use it just like any other fields and it's part of your uh, uh, Studio module.